In an ocean of luxury yachts, it's difficult to stand out from the crowd. That is a challenge for shipyard marketing departments to overcome. But it's also difficult for yacht buyers to recognize the difference between one builder and another to really understand what they are buying and who they are buying from. And that is where I and my team come in. The Cando line of Explorer Yachts built by Ava Yachts is so eye-catching and Explorer Yachts are so much in demand now that I had to find out more about them. So I came here to Antalya in Turkey to discover just what Ava are all about. I've been to Antalya many times over the last couple of years, but I'm sorry to say that I am a typical man. I get attracted by the bright and shiny things and Ava yachts by their own admission are not the biggest or the prettiest shipyard on the block. What I found out on this trip though was so inspiring, so fascinating that it led me to make arrangements for next week that I'll tell you about at the end of this video. The founder of Ava Yachts is this man, Attila Kuchuktiger. Attila was a highly successful naval architect for commercial ships such as chemical tankers and occasionally luxury yachts. In 2015, some clients asked him not just to design, but also to build three yachts. One was an Explorer motor yacht and the other two were motor sailors. Armed with three yacht building contracts in his hands, Attila started Ava Yachts and started to build the projects. But yacht building is a very tough business indeed. And for one reason or another, one by one, all three of the clients announced that they would be unable to complete the build. What was he to do? Well, both the clients and Atelier himself felt very passionate about the motor yacht project and had even given it a name, Kando a Japanese word meaning unexpected pleasure. So the yacht, a 110 foot vessel was completed and taken to the Cannes Yachting Festival in 2019. The finished Kando yacht was a huge success at the show. Not only did they sell her number one, but they also took an order for hull number two from no other than Tony Parker, the international sporting superstar from the NBA. Now, this gave Attila both the confidence and the cash flow necessary to start a third hull. And that's what we're here to look at today. And as for the motor sailors, well, remember, Attila is a talented and experienced designer and naval architect. So he converted them to these rather cool looking trawler style yachts that can be completed by any client who wishes to own them. The hulls are lying here in the shipyard. And to prove it, here they are, ready for you to come along and finish one of them. But I came here not so much to look at those, but rather to take a look at this, the Kando 110. Now that's partly because my friend and colleague Dennis Kamas will represent this for sale, but it's largely because I believe that this style of yachts will be a huge success for Ava. And the more I discovered about it, the more I realized that it's not an explorer in name only.
Excellent, we'll use that later. Rima Abi Chahine and Urchin Chan showed me around the vessel. Each one of these people are highly experienced in the yacht building industry, a sign that Attila is putting together a formidable team. The yacht at this time is still in the bare steel stage, but the general arrangement drawings show some interesting features. Where crew quarters are usually positioned in the bow of yachts this size, which can be a little cramped, this vessel allows the crew to enjoy the full beam of the yacht at the stern. Tenders and toys will be stored on the bow. Five guest staterooms are planned for below deck. And the master stateroom on the main deck. The charter market for Explore Yachts is in rapid growth, so this could be a very useful feature for future owners. The bridge is very spacious. The captain's cabin will be located behind the bridge. Now, this is something usually found only on larger yachts, and I have to say that the deck space on the flybridge is very impressive indeed. But I did say that this yacht is not an explorer in name only. And why do I say that? Well, the three R's that are especially important for Explorer Yachts are ruggedness, range, and reliability. How does this yacht measure up to those? First of all, the materials. Well, the hull is made from steel and the superstructure is made from aluminium, but you can't weld steel to aluminium. So a very expensive material is purchased. And this is actually steel and aluminium that's been molecularly bonded so that you can in fact weld steel to steel and aluminium to aluminium. Here you can clearly see the aluminium of the superstructure, but behind me there are also some composite parts. And that's because the very top of the yacht, the hard top, for example, will be made from composite, which is one third of the weight of aluminium. Now, a weight saving like that can only be good for the range, as is this, the bulbous bow. Now, if you know anything about naval architecture, you'll know that there's a direct relationship between the length of a vessel's waterline and its performance. So by having a bulbous bow, you actually increase the waterline length which enhances performance and increases the range. But not only that, the design of this bulbous bow is done with great precision to disrupt the wave pattern created by a hull and reduce drag, which again increases range. You can just imagine the value of Attila's experience in naval architecture in this respect. to this particularly large fuel tanks, redundancy systems that even extend to having two water makers and extra fuel filtering and cleansing systems, an engine room where everything is both visible and reachable, and you have a range of yachts that is absolutely world class. That's right, a range of yachts. A range that will offer an 80, an 85, a 90, a 110, 120, 130, and a very attractively designed 130XL and 150XL model range. Each yacht will have the same basic characteristics and robustness and reliability through redundancy systems that we discussed a moment ago. And as for range, the shipyard states that every single model, even the smaller ones, will have a range of over 4,500 nautical miles. The 110, in fact, will be capable of crossing the Atlantic three times. And the models above are expected to have ranges in excess of 7,000 nautical miles. And that is why I say that this is not just an explorer yacht in name only. This shipyard doesn't just talk the talk, they really do walk the walk. For now, the shipyard have already started building the first of the Kando 85s, and I'm excited to see what they do next. 
So excited, in fact, that next week I've made arrangements to film Tony Parker's Kando 110 at the Monaco Yacht Show. I've heard that it's going to be an anchor in the bay just outside of the show. The lesson of this trip for me, well, in the tender of super yacht builders, I have just got to stop swiping left just because a yacht builder doesn't have the most beautiful facade. Sometimes you can develop a beautiful relationship with a builder that's right underneath your nose.